Hey everybody, so God has just led me up here to bring back to our remembrance the story of Peter when he told Jesus, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come. And I can say personally, I've approached God in that way. Um, Lord, if you would just give me a sign, you know, I'll do this. And just, just kind of going through that story. So Peter you know, he said what he said to Jesus, Jesus bid him to come. And then he started, you know, walking on water. And so sometimes when God gives us an encouraging word or a sign, it can be, you know, just what we need to get started to have, you know, it can be that thing that builds our faith, but we're going to have to hang on to that word. We're going to have to hang on to that prophecy. Even after we take that initial step, um, and so God wants us to understand that that's just a part of the process. He will, you know, send an encouraging word. Um, but there's always going to be something that tries to come to, there's always going to be something that comes to test it. I believe in reference to Joseph, there's a scripture that says that the word of the Lord was tried until it came to pass in his life, came to pass, came to pass, yeah, excuse me, in his life. And so it's going to be the same for us. Um, God will send an encouraging word, a prophecy, a prophetic word. And then we're going to have to hang on, excuse me, to that word, even through, you know, from the time God promises it, or speak something about it to the time that it comes to pass, because that time in between can be really, really rough. There's going to be so many things that come come and speak contrary to that word but we have to continue to declare what god has spoken and spoken and to understand that that's a part of the process that, that there will continually be things that will try to come against what god god has spoken but he wants us to hang on to the words that he's spoken to us all right hope you have a blessed day